okay hey guys it's me welcome back to my channel and today um, we're gonna do something completely different for this channel um, one of the people that I follow I follow her forever um, had did a Q&A and I asked she was from the luxury community and I was like why did you stop collecting um, because I consider myself a collector at one point in time and when I say collector I mean of luxury handbags and you know just um, luxury goods if whether it be um, sweaters or whatever why did you stop collecting and my reason <clears throat> was to be honest it got repetitive it got for lack of a better term boring like it felt I know y'all probably hear the noise outside there people are outside living their life anyway um it just got repetitive like we all carried the same bags revealed the same bags did what's in our bags we all had six ring key holders and mini pochettes and like it was just the same thing over and over again and as much as I still love luxury handbags, I still enjoy watching a good haul. One of my favorite luxury um, handbag um, YouTube channels to watch is LV Lovers DC. She sprinkled in a bunch of other stuff into her channel, but she's still a big luxury girl. Her jewelry, her... I mean, it's just amazing. Um, Jerusha Couture, I've watched her for many, many years. Means for all. Like, these are people that made me want to do this. And they still do it to this day. But as I have changed and evolved, this is just, it was just something that I was just not loving anymore. And I think you have a love for luxury. And then you have a deep committed relationship. So I would just be somebody who loves luxury. Um, because I can go on the Louis Vuitton website and be like, oh, see something like, oh, appreciate how cute it is. But not feel like I had to have it. And so I wanted to show you today what I have left. Because I still have some bags. I don't have a lot. But I did want to share the bags that I have. I did not sell any of my SLG. So I still have every single SLG. Um, because they fit space is a big thing for me living in an apartment um, having a display or having a home for these things becomes a challenge if you are a person that prefers small spaces we've been living in an apartment since we got back from Germany we lived in an apartment when we lived in Louisiana we lived in a townhouse actually when we were in um, southern Virginia now that we're in the DMV area we live in Arlington if you know anything about Arlington, it steps from D.C. and everything is apartments. Now, they do have neighborhoods and houses and things like that, but I am an apartment. I love the idea of the space. I love being having a view, looking out, and seeing the city. Those are things that I appreciate, so that's what we decided to do. But any, anyway, I'm going to show you what bags I have left, and I'll tell you why I kept them, if I have a reason for keeping them. Um, So... My never full this never full is from 2011 this was um, my second Louis Vuitton bag my first bag it might be in here it was the pochette mini not the mini pochette it was the pochette accessories and it is from 2001 so from 2001 to 2011 was when i got this um i got this from the galleria in houston and as you can see it has an organizer and a bunch of trash in it i carry this bag i feel like this was um just an, it was just a never full it was before they even started selling them with the little pouch and it's just my favorite thing and my husband of course he bought it for me um um, the actually right before we actually got married I got this bag in 2000 and um, 2011 um, would not ever sell it that's cause in my mind it's a classic bag and it serves a bunch of purposes and it's durable I can take it out in the rain and makes me happy um, in here I haven't carried this guy in a while but I kept it um, this is the Palm Springs Mini. I got it when we were in Germany. And I literally paid for this bag before, um, just so I could get it. We paid for it 
just to so I could get one. We pay for it. What I'm trying to say is we pay for this bag and didn't have it to get on the so it was two kinds of lists in the store that I went to in Stuttgart it was the just be on it they'll call you when they get one and it's the prepay one so if you prepay for the bag the first ones that came in were yours guaranteed to be yours um as you look inside I do have a um what is this thing called a bag organizer from Samorga and I do also keep these dry packs in my bags. I feel like it helps when you don't carry your bag a lot. It helps um, keep them from getting like that moisture if you have them packed together. So I do have one of these tucked into the pocket of the um, Smorga organizer. I'm um, just a precaution. I don't know if it really helps anything or works, but this is it. So this is my Palm Springs Mini. I got it sometime in 2015, 2016, and it's this is it i love it i still have it um i think i might carry it this weekend this one is new to my collection i had an alma bb in um no i had an alma bb in epi leather and i sold it and this i don't know what made me want this bag something just came over me and it was like you need an alma bb it's a classic that's all you really have now is a couple classics so get it um so i got this this um the cliche is what came with it and this pink tag was from another lv bag if i could think of the name of it y'all i'll tell you um but i cannot think of the name of it i sold the bag it had the pink and yellow crossbody strap if y'all remember i can't remember the name of that bag but i got one and i took this off and then i sold the other rest of the bag because it was hot stamped anyway i had my initial on it so nobody you know would have wanted it you can go and probably order that piece if you need it um the it has four feet on the bottom this is not a review y'all know what the alma bb look like um i got this a couple years ago it is in long shop this is the little long shop it's the extra small and i ordered it and um with the regular strap which is a short leather strap but i ordered the long shop guitar strap and i carried it with this strap it was something about the thick strap i like a thick strap sometimes so i got it with the strap um next up this is video gonna be short y'all is my barely carried um louis vuitton speedy bandolier size 25 with the um luggage tag stamped with the j um this bag is made in france this is one of my made in france ones i got it when i was in germany um it was a christmas the christmas we went and spent christmas in paris i opened this with you guys probably on instagram because that christmas we were in paris so nothing was um we opened our gifts prior to um going to, to Disney um, for Christmas. This was the first Louis Vuitton bag that I bought when I got to Germany in 2014 or 15, whenever we got to Germany. And it was also made in France. And this is my Speedy in Damien Aben. Um, I carry this bag a lot. And it looks amazing. They both have some more organizers inside of them. And this one has a big luggage tag with the gold J stamp. Um, you probably can see a theme. I am a I was a lug luggage tag loving fool boy. Wasn't nothing like a good luggage tag. This has a little like it ran up against something. See that little the little white mark on that there? Oh look at that. Well I will take a, a wet cloth and try to get that off. But yeah, this was also made in made in france so my two speedies um are made in france this is probably the bag i carry the most and this is my pochette matisse now this bag i will never sell i freaking love the pochette matisse if i had to buy another bag i would get another pochette matisse i would get it in the um shrunken version not that mini one but just the it's like half this size um, but it, it will be the same bag. This bag got hand sanitizer. I don't know if, if you can see it right there. It got a mark. That's hand sanitizer. Um, I don't know if there's a way to get it out. I haven't done much research on it. Um, cause like I said, it's a bag I'd never sell. And the strap is here. And again, I have the, um, the, the sought 
gel to keep it dry um, pack in here and I have one all the way in the back because I don't carry it a whole lot so I have one back here anyway yeah this is my pochette Matisse I um, I carry this bag more than I carry any other bag I think out of all my bags out of all of my designer bags this one gets the most use it's got the pocket in the back and the strap on the inside this was a Mother's Day gift um, we were living in we were living in Louisiana when I got that bag um, and I got I still have my Gucci Soho disco bag it's a classic um, I tried to sell it to Fashion File and they said they had too many because everybody apparently was selling their um, Soho's so I kept it. That's the only reason I kept the Gucci Soho was because Fashion File was like we have a saturation of them and so yeah so I still have it. I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe um, I'll give it to Sydney as she gets older. She has my little gray Givenchy bag. She loves that bag so I didn't sell it because she carries it. Okay, now, this is the bag I got the year. They stopped making it, I think. And this was the um, Boss 4 backpack. I got it for my birthday. Um, I can't even remember what year. And it has, of course, the J, the luggage tag on it. And I'm trying to see if it says when it was, it was made. It just says Louis Vuitton. Um, Louis Vuitton Paris um, I'm about a I'm about 99% sure this guy was made in France yes okay so yes this was a Louis Vuitton made in France and it also has a Samorga organizer on the inside of it and this pillow is from Ikea and I just keep this pillow I I think I used to have two pillow stuff in here, but I only have one now, and it just kind of keeps holds its shape. Um, so that's my Boss 4 backpack. And last but not least for my Louis Vuitton collection is my Keep All. Because these pieces are for travel, um, I just felt like, um, plus I didn't, I never wanted to sell my Keep All. It has the JJ's on it, and it's the Keep All with the, why I love it so much is it has the, um, coated leather it doesn't have the pochette and this is called the Makassar I think um 45 key ball and it's stuffed with um pillows from Ikea and I carried this actually um on my last work trip when I went to Maryland because I drove so I I carried my I think it's called the Maxar. if I'm wrong um, somebody can tell me and it is the 45 and I want to say it is made in France as well so all of my speedy um, keep balls are made in France this guy I bought from Houston so I'm about a hundred percent sure it was made in the USA from imported yes made in the USA so this one was made in the USA and the rest of them let me see where this guy was made this I have to yeah I'm so rusty I have not even thought about something being made and where it was made and who made it I gotta take it I gotta take the stuffing out Ooh, my hair in here oh Jesus Louis Vuitton Paris this one was made in Italy yeah so this guy this guy had gone in for service because the zipper when you these first came out as you can see the zipper is exposed the zipper was not exposed this leather lip covered the zipper so it was kind of tucked back in here and whenever you went to open or close it it would rub on this so I had the original model so I called the Louis Vuitton and they told me to send it in because it was just I mean it was just rubbing really bad and I was like it's rubbing um really really bad right here and they said send it in and they kept it for about three months and when they returned it they had um redone the zipper and so I have the um 
these things, the straps. But I never carry the straps. I bought this strap. This was the, y'all gonna make me lie. This was made in Italy too. This strap was one of the adjustable um, mandolin um, straps you could buy from. Is they adjusted? Oh yeah, they adjusted. Look at the adjustment. One is longer than the other. See y'all, this is about how much tension I pay. So um, this one was the extra large or something. Because you know they had the ones that didn't adjust. And then when they came out with this one that adjusts and it had the, the, the black leather, I was like, bam. And I've really only carried it with this strap. Um, I do have my backpack straps. They're in the little container. I have a container of SLGs. Maybe another video I will do a SLG um, collection. But for now, it was just the bags that I have left. And that is it. That's all the bags that I have left from my time as a collector or an active collector um, because I have purchased bags um, I'm not gonna say up here and pretend like I have it um, one of the first videos that I did on this channel was a Valentine's Day video and it had the um, roomy I think that's how it's pronounced wallet I mean I got that when I was in South Carolina so that was so when I was in South Carolina I was there for a year and I purchased two things the wallet and the Alma BB and so that's why I mean I said I'm not I'm not against luxury I still love luxury but I'm not spending trying to find an essay um, getting on the wait list paying for bags even before they're available for in the store you know paying for bags just waiting on them to get me one i'm hoping they make it and send it and i love it so th that's what i mean by i'm not i'm not that girl there are um things on my wish list are there things on my wish list i could do another wallet maybe um they have a new line of small bags i could really go for a um one of the little speedies i think they're so cute micro bags i should say um and i'll post some pictures here micro speedy they have the micro no way which i think is so cute i had a no way bb i think that's what's called the no way bb i'll post a picture here i had a no way um a bb full size the original one that everybody told the story about the five wine bottles and all that i had one of those i sold it it was so big i didn't carry it and so i sold it to one of my subscribers i believe when i was living in there in germany but I could see myself with a, the BB size of that. Just enough to slide my phone in um, and a wallet and, and keep it going just so that I'm not carrying. Because I don't have any more mini bags. I have a lot of inexpensive mini bags. Like I have a lot of Lululemon crossbody bags and things like that. But I don't have any designer mini bags. And so I I just, I've, this is all I have left, y'all. Like I said, the only reason that um, I still have that... Um, Gucci bag is because the market um, was so saturated with them and um, I don't know if that's the case now but um, I don't think I think the Soho disco crave has come and gone <laughs> but it's a bag it has a, uh, some of an organizer in it as well and it's a bag that actually it's a plain leather black bag so you could literally carry it from now until the end of time so I'm not mad about it you know maybe on a cold winter day I'll crossbody it because it has such a, a long crossbody strap that's one of those bags that you put on when you have on a heavy coat and you're going somewhere. Like I said, we live in the middle of a city. Um, we live walking distance from the um, from D.C. So, you know, when it cools off, because it was hot here, like ridiculously hot this summer. Um, and I'm out and we're maybe, you know, having a good time going out to dinner. I'll carry it then or whatever. Travel my backpack. The backpack I kept my boss for because they don't make it anymore. And it was just something so special about it. I feel like um, from Louis Vuitton. So I did keep that. And um, for just sentimental reasons. My Like I said, my never full. I love it. My husband was one of the the first Louis Vuitton bag and then has held up beautifully um I carried it to work I went to um a meeting uh, all employees meeting um in New Jersey a couple months back and I took it and I was able to you know put on it was just this is if you want a bag from somebody who's had a bunch of bags get you a never full I know they call them all the things they call them but them are some good bags y'all 
and I think that's it that's all I wanted to share with you guys thank you so much for watching this video I am going to um, start ready start getting ready um, I took my lunch break to do this um, which didn't take but I mean I just grabbed the bags and right now the video is 15 minutes so I'm going to um, get ready and pack pack this stuff up and once again thank you guys for watching i hope this video was insightful um is in, in um all of these bags i probably did videos on i will link my old youtube channel um below it's called she's a jordan i um left it up it's still up the videos are still there so if you see anything you want to know when i got it or how much i paid for it that is um that those videos are still up on my channel so go ahead and take a look at that if you're curious to see what other bags i had how many i had how many i sold um i think that's it guys i think that is all but thank you so much for watching and remember to be kind just because you can bye